Welcome back as we close out what has been a very feel-good Friday morning. Thank you so much for sticking around. Now, when it comes to property and finding that dream home, it isn't just about the house you like. The image you have in your mind of what it should look like. As they say, it's all about location, location, location when it comes to finding your dream home. That means the neighborhood you buy in is vital. Now, Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property, is here to tell us more um, about a an incredibly interesting campaign, the Neighbourhoods campaign. Simon, welcome to the show. Thank you so much Thanks for joining for us. Yeah, it's good to be here. So what's the hype all about? I know, I know you are particularly passionate about everything that you do, but this seems to have kicked that into a, an entirely higher gear. Talk to us about the Neighbourhoods campaign. Oh, this is an incredibly exciting release for us. You know, we've been keeping it under wraps for probably the last six months. We've been working really hard behind the scenes. Ultimately, we wanted to answer that question, what is it like to live in a particular area? You know, it's, it's so much more than just uh, the property you want to buy. You know, that is something we've got on our website there. Thousands of homes for sale, you can certainly find your perfect home. But we realized through our interaction with our customers, they wanted to know, you know, what is it like to live in a particular neighborhood? What is that location all about? What's life like exactly. around that home? Yeah, coffee shops, uh, you know, little restaurants, uh, the property market, what it's doing, up or down. So there's a lot of insight that we've got on the site that we just weren't making visible to people. So we've worked really hard to kind of unearth all of that good stuff. I was going to say, unearth is a good term because there must be a huge amount of data to assess and tie in. We know that South Africa's property markets can be very regional and differ greatly from area to area. What do we find, what experience do we get when we log on? Well, that's, that's one of the cool things that we've done is we've taken property insights uh, and, and made useful, visible uh, insights out of the data that we've got. We obviously aggregate all of these thousands of listings on the site. We've got database that goes you know, 10, 15 years back, so we can see a lot about the market, and we wanted to make it obvious uh, on the site. So there's stuff like median house prices in an area, there's recent sales, uh, and, and some great rental insight too, which is quite unique. Yeah, certainly from my perspective, living here in Cape Town, it's all about those rentals and, of course, all about those investment. This says to me that this is a wonderful tool for people looking specifically on the investment line. Uh, how does it help someone looking to, to grow um, you know, that, that asset um, and find the, the right kind of asset? Well, a lot of investment is obviously buy to let. So guys are buying apartments and then they want to let them out. And when you do that, you obviously want to pick an area where uh, the rental yields are really high. So any savvy investor could look at our site now, look at a particular neighborhood, and see the capital gains in the area, so your sales price increases, right next to the rental data. So you can see what the rentals are doing, what the average rental yields look like. Uh, so if you're a savvy investor, you can connect those two, uh, and that's novel, that's unique. There's no other platform on the market right now that's doing just that. Um, this all says to me that we're empowering ourselves, yes, through education, but it, it just seems to have tools that really, especially for a first-time buyer or someone who might not know the market, who might be feeling like they're on the short end of that exchange, working against agents who know so much more, this really does feel like a, a tool to empower. How does it empower us as the consumer? We wanted to touch on it from a number of different angles. So there's obviously the information. So it's the data that we spoke about. Uh, it's, it's something just as simple as when we talk about this neighborhood, what suburbs are in that neighborhood. So we've got some rich mapping to kind of show what we're talking about when we mention an area. Uh, and then there's something that I think is pretty unique. So, you know, something that we've worked on is this, this original idea of lifestyle shopping for property. Yeah. You know, that's something that's emerging. Uh, a lot of people are not just location-based, but they want to pick a particular lifestyle, whether that's, um, you know, urban sophistication and kind of modern uh, lock-up-and-go lifestyle, or perhaps it's, you know, you're getting older in life and you want to look at particular retirement lifestyles that suit you. So what we've done is cross-classify all of these neighborhoods in the country, uh, and, we've, and we've created these lifestyle tags, which is completely unique. So, so there might be an area like uh, Belito up in KZN that's similar to somewhere in Cape Town, and now we've connected those two together on the site and gives you a different way to explore. And then, you know, the one area that we wanted to promote as well is this idea of experience. I mean, yeah. I touched on it right at the beginning. The culture. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I have to ask, and you know this question was coming, what is the best neighborhood in South Africa to live in? I know it must be a very, very complex question. Yeah, you know, and that's probably what started a lot of our discussion initially is, you know, what is the best neighborhood to live in? 
and for each person it's a different answer. Yeah. Uh, and so what we've created on the site is a discovery based platform and a, an exploration of all the different neighborhoods and you can choose for yourself exactly what the best neighborhood is. I love it. Open your eyes. Well, can you quickly wrap up with one tip for our, our buyers out there? Well, when we're talking neighborhoods, you've got to go and explore. You know, you mentioned right at the beginning, yeah. location is key. And uh, so what we're doing this Sunday is we package three of our feature neighborhoods and we're going to be releasing them in the Sunday Times. They're going to be Brilliant. on the site with these rich aerial showcases and like video footage you've never seen before. Uh, so my tip of the day would be certainly do your research, find the lifestyle that suits you. Oh, find your click. Simon, thank you so much for joining us and Thanks, congratulations. Man. Look forward to what this yields, but I know we're going to be walking this journey with you over the next couple of months. So sure. um, all the best of luck. Go out there and empower yourselves, guys. Make sure that you put some thought into the neighborhood that you and your family want to live in. Visit privateproperty.coza to discover more about private property and their new neighborhood information. Sounds absolutely groundbreaking.